So we're hanging out here with uh, Sheldon Carl, who just did well. And, and we run into Ryan Newman. You're drinking a Coke. You got driven to save lives on. You're perfect no matter where you go. What are you doing at the Knoxville Nationals? So my daughter was racing English Creek, which is just down the oh, street. Oh, the, the, the outlaw car. car. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that was last night. Got a chance to be here tonight. Jumping on a plane tomorrow with Stewart to go to Eldora for the SRX race. So um, logistics worked to our favor to be here for night one Knoxville Nationals. Now, have you ever been here before for this event? Not for a prelim night, but for the Nationals. For the Saturday. Nationals, so, you are. This is kind of a little bit different, but all the same. Now, have you been in the pitting area or? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Before. Yeah, I watched my first Knoxville Nationals on top of the uh, tower over here, which nobody's supposed okay. to be on top of. Uh, so. Well, I wonder why you yeah. got up there, correct? I don't know how I snuck up there. <laughs> Interesting. What, what What's your opinion on uh, sprint car racing? It, it does seem just, uh, yeah, pretty uh, extreme. I think it's uh, I think it's awesome. I mean, the cars are amazing. and um, Just looking at what uh, Sheldon's tires and stuff look like afterwards. But, um, you know, it's, um, it's a special event to be, um, you know, you look here on a, Wednesday night to have as many people in the grandstands in the middle of Iowa. So right. a lot about what's going on. Well, and obviously you've been in, uh, you were pavement going up I'm Mostly pavement. Open I ran a lot of wheel. dirt. Won my first venture race on dirt, but mostly pavement. And I don't know if you've seen it. Have you seen that new wing sprint car race that's coming out? It's like 50K. Davey Hamilton Jr. is putting yes, it yeah, on. the pavement. Out of yeah, Vegas. Yeah. That's well, got to be yeah. kind of cool because it seems like uh, short track racing kind of went to the dark ever since the 90-ish yeah. areas. When NASCAR blew up, everything else went into the shades. And asphalt short track racing used to be really big. Yeah, lots of, uh, lots of pavement short track racing kind of went by the wayside. And it was good to see the dirt track racing pick up and go, but um, it's good to see the the pavement side of it catching catching back up. Hopefully, and uh, like you said, fifty thousand to win on a, a wing sprint car right. show is pretty special. Well, and on asphalt, people are like on asphalt. They well, never so I mean, even yeah, heard yeah, of it yeah, before. Yeah, you know? on, on asphalt was was unheard of. So. Um, Good to see pavement racing kind of playing catch up to the dirt world. Well, and, you know, I, I talk about it a lot where respect of drivers, you know, Mike Tyson S type of mentality from the world is very important. Respect for the drivers, seeing their skill and ability. It seems like on the asphalt side, you have to have a lot more money than skill to get somewhere in today's world. I don't know about I don't know about that so much as it is just it's a different it's a different type of racing. It's um, you know it's it's just it's just different. I mean, like it's pavement pavement. I've always said is less forgiving than dirt. Dirt, you miss your entry, you can make it back up on exit. Pavement's right. not so much that way. So um, you know, different uh, different. Typically a little bit quicker, but kind of the same skill set. And um, you know, just a different group of people. It seems like pavement racing is definitely different than than uh, dirt racing, but it's all short track racing, and that brings us all together. Right. Well, and that's what I was going to say. Even short track racing, it seems like in dirt or short track racing, you can you know work your way to earn enough money to race and be on the racetrack at 30 years old and be successful. You could be a really uh, Tom Brady esque so talent, but yeah, you just didn't in, have the money at a younger back in age. The day, TV kind of split the difference. It was, you know, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Saturday night, Thunder from Ventura, from uh, even Santa Fe, Illinois. Then yeah, Southwest to, Series. Then, then it went to, but yeah, but then it went to IRP and Winchester and the USAC stuff that was predominantly on pavement. So um, I think it all depends on where the TV is. And we said that where the TV is is where the money is. And where the money is, it's easier, easier, it's an easier opportunity to make a career out of it. Right. Well, and getting the respect to those short track and dirt track racers seems to be quintessential. Because sometimes a NASCAR driver could just, just be somebody who had a lot of money, and that's how he's there. Not necessarily. He, he yeah, kind of bought his way to the starting right, lineup. It, help, it helps to have skill and move your way up because of your brain and your you know, physical abilities behind the wheel versus just the size of your pocketbook and the check right. right? Which seems to be the modern day and a little bit of a it's situation. It's like that across the world. I mean, it don't matter if it's racing or anything else. It's it's uh, That's been more a part of our everyday politics. Well, politics run a lot of stuff, not just in the world, but you came up in an era that it seemed like there was a little more opportunity if you were a little just, just good on the politics. track. Right, less <laughs> politics, this is true. All right, well, thanks for uh, talking about yes. it.